so today is Friday and it's actually the last day I have to work from home before I have a week off Woo. Um, it's Easter next week so I decided to take a few days um, so what I'm actually wanted to chat about today is that I'm waiting for my HbA1c results I'm really I don't know I feel a bit anxious to see what they are because I do feel like my HbA1c results might have gone up a slight bit just because of Christmas and lockdowns and things like that um, it would be really great if it stayed the same and it would be amazing if it went down again but I do have that feeling so I just decided I would come on the camera now before she rings and talk a bit about that I went to my GP surgery last Tuesday to get my bloods taken for my diabetes checkup so she took my bloods there and she also checked the feet because you know with the diabetes it can cause damage to a lot of different areas in the body if there's high blood sugars and the feet being one of them so she checked all that and that was fine and then she took the bloods and said that they'd probably take about a week so I've called them up today because it's been a bit longer and I'm really interested to see what they are also some other stuff will be checked like cholesterol and things like that so I want to see that too but what I'm mainly interested in is obviously the HbA1c for anyone that's completely new to diabetes whether they have it themselves or family member or don't have it and are just interested in knowing like about this condition I will go through a bit about what a HbA1c result actually is. HbA1c is what's known as glycolated hemoglobin. Now hemoglobin are red blood cells that live in your body for around two to three months and have different functions outside of diabetes. When you're diabetic, your body can't actually use the sugar that's produced inside the body properly. So what happens is that some of the glucose or sugar actually sticks to these red blood cells and as I said, these red blood cells actually only live for two to three months, so that's why they make the perfect target to actually measure the glucose in your body over that period of time. So how does this relate to diabetes? If you have high blood sugar readings, it means there is a high level of glucose in your body that is sticking to these red blood cells, overall giving you a high HbA1c result. Whereas if you have low blood sugar readings, there will be a lower amount of glucose stuck to these red blood cells and therefore you will have a lower HbA1c. Target HbA1c result if you have diabetes is 6.5% or 48 millimoles. And basically keeping your HbA1c result as close as possible to this perfect value means that your diabetes is in good control and you're less likely to develop long-term complications. So yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm going to go through now what my HbA1c was like over the last maybe year and a half, I've written it all down. Um, and this is before I've had the sensor and then getting the sensor and then my most recent result and then I'll let you know today's result once you ring. So let me show you my results so far anyway. This is the chart that I actually use and I just highlight, you can see there and where I've written on what my results have been over the last, I think I started in 2019. So I don't have the results before that, sorry, but this is what I have so far. Um, I do my measurements in like percentages, but it's also good if anyone's watching here that does it in this kind of format there as well so that you can recognize it. So let's show you where I started off actually tracking my HbA1c. So you can see here that it was on the 8th of November 2019. My HbA1c result was 7.9% or 63. And this was before yeah this was just before I got my first sensor so like it was okay like it wasn't great but to me at the time that was okay you know to be around seven I know it's nearly eight but it was all right but then what happened was I actually got my first sensors in 2019 um, I wasn't being funded by the NHS at the time, it was self-funded, but I decided to stick with it so that I could show improvement. And you can see I jumped from 7.9 all the way to 7 on the 29th of July 2020. So that's about, yeah, more than six months, maybe about eight months. Um, and I don't think I had a checkup in between there because of the whole COVID situation. Um, yeah, because of the COVID situation, I didn't have a checkup until the summer. But you can see, like, that's a huge jump for me from 7.9 down to 7 or from 63 down to 53. Like, I think that was great. So I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. <laughs> and then 
The most recent one I have before today, it was on the 11th of December 2020, it was 6.7 or 50. And I will tell you, like, I have never had a result like that in my life before having the sensor. So I'm a bit worried now. I, I don't think I'm going to be at this figure here. I think I'm going to be somewhere back here at the start of the sevens which is really sad for me because I was like I was doing so well but I am gonna see how it goes and I'm gonna try to get back there if I am further on. Do you have an idea of what it will be because um, the Freestyle Libre sensor actually gives you an estimate and I'll show you that now on the screen. So if you're in the Freestyle Libre app um, you will open it open it'll probably be on your logbook or the homepage. So this is my logbook right now and then if you click here and you go down to estimated A1C it will load it and it will give you a projection. So it's saying 7.1% or 54. And if you remember, it was my last one was 6.7 or 50. So this is why I think that I've gone up, which is kind of stressing me out. I'm not going to lie. Before I went to get my last HbA1c blood test, this page was saying that I was probably about 6. 9 and I was like oh that's great and then when it came back and said 6.7 I was like oh my god that's even better but now it says 7.1 so oh it's making me a bit a bit worried I don't really want to go up but we'll have to see so yeah this is where it is so far and if you want to check your own you can go into the screen and it'll tell you like around three months it's kind of measuring so 27th of December to 26th of March hey everyone it's a few hours later and yeah, the nurse just called with the HbA1c results and yeah, you can probably tell that I'm a bit disappointed. It was exactly what the sensor said, 7.1%, which is 54 millimoles. I'm disappointed in myself because I had got it so good, like getting down to 6.7% when the optimal, I asked the nurse like, what is the optimal and it's 6.5 or 48. And I was so close because I was at 50 or 6.7 and now I'm way up at 7.1 or 54 so you know it's still better than I was in 2019 when I was like 7.9 but it's just really disappointing because it's not like I haven't been trying as hard I've been trying equally as hard I like I will say yeah like probably around Christmas ate more food and more sweets than normal times of the year and especially not being able to go home because of lockdown you know you kind of compensate that like eat sweets whatever to feel better but it's just real disappointing for me I take it like really personally you know some people like this would some people would feel great at this and it is like a really good result like the nurse told me like it is pretty good like you're still under eight you're less than what you were in 2019 like don't be so hard on yourself but that's just how I feel I just wanted to keep it the same and obviously it's better for your health overall and I guess what just frustrates me the most is that I have been trying as hard you know that's the most frustrating it's not like I just decided oh forget this like whatever it's just been trying as hard but I'm gonna feel bad about it like for a day and then I'm gonna keep trying with it. The next appointment she booked me in for is June so that's not too long. Even if I could get it a bit better by then I'm gonna really really try but um yeah this is the struggle. Anyone else who's going through this I feel you. I hope um like watching this video helps realize that there is other people going through it um so yeah I will show you on the chart really quick but this is the end of my video. Hopefully when I do a next HBA one see video, I'll be able to share some good results. For reference, yeah, here's 26th of March, 2021, which is today, and it's gone up to 7.1, so need to get back here.